it's time to crack into this final 500 bag of wheat scents that I have here. Um, this one says collection dump, so uh, I'm sure it might have some good stuff in it, some older stuff maybe. But yeah, I'll get into this one and see how it looks. And we'll see what kind of finds we got in here. Hopefully there's some good stuff. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay, so I'm going to cut into this, and like the other videos, we'll move stuff out of the way. And I'll pump them out and go through them here. Sort them by date. And then uh, we'll go back through and look for any errors and varieties here. And it looks like you got a nice shiny one here. So let's check this one out really quick before we get going. It's probably going to be a 58... So that's usually what the Blazers are, 1958. Nice. Good call. I guess right. Awesome. Well, still, it's a nice blazing red wheat scent out of the bag. And there's another one with some red on it. So this will be interesting. All right. Let's get to sorting these and um, we'll see what's going on with them. Oh, and I did cut my finger on some glass earlier. So got a little baby Yoda. Um band-aid on my finger so you'll be seeing that a lot as I go through the coins.
I've got them all sorted. I've got the 50s up here, 40s here, mostly 40s and 50s. 30s, had a stack of 35s. 20s, and then the teens here, um, 1916s, and then um, had two 1910s. So I'm going to go through all these and check for errors and varieties, and I will just know what I find here in just a second. Okay, so I finished going through all the coins, and I do have a few um, interesting finds here that I want to discuss here. Okay, so this first one, it's 1958. Um, the, the shiny one that we pulled out has a die chip on the head here. And I will try to pop up some pictures of all these so you can see an up-close picture that I took under my microscope. And let's see. This stack here is some laminations, and this is probably one of the nicer laminations right here. You can see there is some splitting on the surfaces there. Um, and some of these are a little bit weaker than others. This one actually has a lamination on the edge here. It's hard to see, but it is splitting there on the edge. And there are a few other splits down here as well. It's more minor, but definitely interesting. So that stack has a bunch of um, laminations in it. This stack is a bunch of um, wood grain effect or woody coins. It's some of the better ones. There were some minor ones that had the uh, surface on it. The wood grain surface look to it. Um, and that's just from when the alloy was mixed up. It wasn't completely mixed up fully. Um, these are probably some of the more nicer looking ones. Um, there was a few that had a tiny bit of it on the coins, but they were um, pretty dirty and or dis uh, damaged or didn't have a whole lot on them. That is those. The, the rest of these had some uh, interesting finds on them. Um, if I can get it to focus here. This one has a filled D tie chip. It's been a little worn down. Um, could be possible just damage, but um, it is definitely interesting. Um, a lot of these have, this one has just some several little die chips across the date. Um, a lot of these just have the die chips on the date. The stack here is all different BIE die chips, 1955, uh, one 1956 and the rest were 1957s to some extent. Uh, 1957 is probably the most common year, but the 50s are the com the most common uh, you're gonna find those most commonly on the 1950s. This one has a 1956 has a nice little die chip up in the up in Lincoln's hair here. It's like a die crack up in there. Very interesting to find. This one is looks like if you look at the lettering it's all pretty strong and then you get over here to the end god um most of that is missing because it probably because a grease filled die some grease got in the way of the strike over here um it does have some damage so um unfortunately and if you look at the back there is United, the ED, and the A of America. It looks like a little bit of the E as well is weak, um, probably from some grease-filled dye. So that's always a fun little find there. Um, and this had one uh, variety. This one here 
is doubled on this. And if you look at the dots in the E Pluribus Unum, they are stretched out. I'm not sure if this is DDR4 or 5 yet for, um, what date is this? 1935. Yeah, 1935, out on Variety Vista, this would be DDR4 or 5. And I will try to verify that before I edit out the video and I'll pop up, if I can figure out which one it is by then, um, I'll pop that up here. So that is it for the finds. It was a fun, always fun to hunt through some wheat scents. Ton, you know, 500 wheat scents is always a fun thing to go through. Um, had some very interesting finds. Did hit a uh, double die there. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. All right, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.